Hey, what's up guys? So Murphy just shed. That means I need to show you what you can do with the snake shed. Okay, so I have a bunch of snake sheds that I'm going to show you what you can do with them because there's a few things that you can do with all the snake sheds to make your reptile room look pretty dope. So let's get into it. So all you're going to need to make your snake shed look awesome are these three items. Number one, a piece of paper. Number two, the actual snake shed. And then a spray bottle if you cannot get the snake shed in time and the snake shed is like all dried up like this over here. So I have a beautiful puff adder shed and I'll show you a bit of that now. It's stunning. Puff adders are absolutely incredible animals but let's get cracking. So before anything else you need to spray down the snake shed to get it all nice and moist and let it soak for a little bit. As you can see the shed is starting to get softer and more pliable as it gets wet. So just keep wetting it so it's not all crispy. So now as you can see we are stretching out the head of this little puff adder shed which is really nice. Snakes shed their skin inside out so just like a sock. Now I'm going to turn this shed upside down and spray the ventral scales all the way down to the subcaudal scales. Okay so while we wait for this to dry off a little bit let's get to the next step. So now all you need to do is cut the piece of paper to the length of the snake shed approximately. Now you all get to witness my sucky cutting skills. And by this time your shed should be ready and you need to now get some scissors and get ready to cut down the scales, the ventral scales. I'm going to start here right by the cloaca because there is already an opening, if I can find it that is. Just make a little incision get the scissors in there and I want to cut down approximately in the middle of the ventral scales. Try to do this as accurately as you can. The more accurately you do it the better this will turn out. Take your time especially because the shed is very delicate when it is wet. I'm sure by now you can start to get the idea of what we are trying to do with the snake shed. And you can obviously do this with any snake shed you get, not just a nice pretty puff adder. It works best when the snake shed is also nice and perfect. So make sure your humidity is up next time your snakes are ready to shed and you will get a nice shed. So we are not, not quite done yet, we still have to cut the subcaudal scales over here right at the end of the tail and we are done with cutting the snake shed without giving the snake any pain obviously so an interesting part next find some tape and cut off four pieces of the tape or use press stick if you can I don't have that so I'm going to use tape one two three and four. Now roll out your piece of paper and stick each corner to the surface you're working on. And the next step is to get the snake shed and put it on the piece of paper. Take your time, this is a very delicate process. So what I am doing is because it is inside out, we have actually cut it and now I am showing you the actual side you would see from the snake's perspective. So this is now not inside out anymore because we have cut it down the middle. So the interesting thing is it seems that I have cut the piece of paper not to the right length. So measure before you do this. I'm just going to cut another piece. So keep stretching the shed skin until you have come to the desired look that you are going for. Okay, so I've made a temporary plan and made the piece of paper a bit longer. So in essence, I've extended it. So the best thing to do for now is let it dry and we shall wait until the next step. So now that you've let it dry overnight, it is time 
to cut around the snake shed because it's going to look epic to hang on your wall or even frame that is. <laughs> Now if you don't have press stick, wet it again because it'll actually make the snake shed stick onto the paper so you can hang it on the wall. So leave it to dry for a bit and we'll be back. So I couldn't find press stick but I found glue so let's try if that works. Okay so I'm gently gonna fold this back, take some glue and smear it on. Now you want to flip the shed over, slap on two things of double-sided tape, and boom, you have a nice snake shed to hang on your reptile room wall. Pretty interesting and cool, right? I dig it. So surprisingly enough, this will actually last you a few years. I had mine up for approximately three years before it started breaking and that was just because people started to brush past it and tear the shed skin. And I'm sure it's gonna last even longer if you do something like frame it, especially with a nice shed like that from this beautiful puff adder. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and remember to go out, learn, explore, inspire. Hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers. Live it!